We arrived at the Bay of Islands last night really late. We are staying in our little eco cabin in Large A. We've only got two days here of the weekend, so we're just gonna go and explore. We're gonna go to the Tourist Information Center and see what we can do for the day and make the most of our time here. So, come on, let's go. We're in our little green high car. <coughs> heritage tour here at the treaty grounds in the Bay of Islands. Behind me in this field is where the treaty was signed between New Zealand and the British Empire. All the chiefs came out, all the locals, everyone protested to sign this treaty and everyone eventually did. All the chiefs did sign the treaty and then the British Empire broke that treaty. Bad England. This has been such an amazing tour. I can really, really recommend it. It's not that much more expensive. I think it's about five, ten dollars more than what it cost you to actually just explore the grounds on your own. You learn so much. So if you want to learn about the history of the New Zealand we know and love today, then start here because it just gives you so much information. I can't recommend it enough. <laughs> the tour of the treaty grounds and got loads of information we had the cultural <coughs> performance and we were allowed to film outside but we weren't allowed to film inside but I took so many photos it was really cool they come and welcome you in a traditional Maori way they take you inside and perform all these dances they show you the weapons that the warriors would use to go into battle how they'd warm up for battle and it was absolutely terrifying would not like to have been the British Empire coming in and seeing that on their arrival I would have run away that was really really good and like I said you can't film inside but outside is very serious you have to basically you can't really smile you just don't laugh you sit there it's very serious and then when you go inside you can laugh as much as you want it's so much fun they've got all the dancers and they're singing and it's just a really great time so we just had some breakfast down by the water and we're gonna go and drive and get the ferry over to Russell and explore that area now but the Bay of Islands is seriously stunning this place is just gorgeous So after that we decided we go up to Flagstone and go to the lookout and it's absolutely beautiful. It's some amazing views from up there, you can drive up or walk up, either way, doesn't matter, but there are some perfect photo opportunities for you. Then after a sneaky can of coke and a very high in sugar ice cream, we decide to head back. And now we are back and we have tapas for tonight, kind of, well cheese and crackers, but we're gonna call it tapas to make us feel good. And we've just got our fire going and night time. It's 
that was day one. We had so much fun. It was a really good day and I'll see you tomorrow maybe. So we left our little cabin in the woods and headed to the farmer's market to get some breakfast which is in Kerry Kerry every single Sunday. Rain or shine and as you can see it ain't shining today. So instead of going straight back down the way we came, we thought we'd leave early and go over to the west coast and explore there and just drive back down that way. It'll take us a couple of extra hours, but we're just gonna take it slow throughout the day and see that part of New Zealand because you might as well. In the farmer's market, um, I would definitely recommend going and getting a coffee from Rob and his lovely wife. We spoke for ages. They do such a good flat white and a good mocha. The coffee's just really tasty. So whether it is rain or shine, there is live music, good coffee, good food, and you can pick yourselves up some cheap fruit and plants, hopefully, if you like that kind of thing. 